Hey guys, what's going on? It's DJ Zage. I haven't talked to you guys in so fucking long. Uh, as I've told you guys, um, if you guys have been following my Twitter, uh, I have no tower. I have a PC that's got a broken display on it, um, which is pretty bad. And on top of that, as you guys can see once the light kicks in, if that ever does, um is I have lack of sleep. I've only gotten maybe like three hours of sleep today. So my eyes are like all bloodshot red and all that stuff. So kind of a little sensitive to the light right now. But um, plenty of shaving my head. Just shaved my beard not too long ago. As you guys can see, there's still five o'clock shadow. <laughs> but um, other than that, guys, just want to give you a heads up that uh, I've been busy as hell trying to come up with new tracks. It's harder than it looks. I'm going through what people call writer's block. And I'm going through that at the current time. Because every time I come up with an idea, someone either I'm idolizing comes up with it, um, or it's it's already being done by somebody else. And that's the only issue when everyone and everyone is doing Electro House and uh, Big Room Electro and even just Minimal Electro. It's the same deal. That's why I'm trying to focus on hard style. I'm trying to learn hard style. I'm trying to um, learn the 909 distorted, uh, distorted drum. I'm trying to learn everything I can about it, from builds to just anything in general. Uh, from Fruity Loops, which is kind of a bit of a pain in the ass to make hard style with. But um, I would like to get back to my original roots of making dubstep again, but not that many people up here you know, really enjoy it. I don't even really enjoy the genre myself. Uh, there's a few that I do on occasion, but I just, more in particular, I just don't enjoy it anymore. But, um, other than that, guys, you know, I got a lot of good stuff coming in along the way. Um, you, you know, YouTube videos for Bloodborne I'm going to be doing. Uh, I've been doing, um, everyday daily broadcasts on, uh, younow.com, uh, which I'll have the link down below in the description. I've been trying to read you guys' comments and stuff like that. And there's, I, I understand you guys, you know, you guys um, try to troll and all that shit. But guys, there's just days where none of us want to fucking deal with it. There's really not. And on my channel, I, you know, I appreciate the honesty and appreciation that you guys are putting out there. But at the same time, I understand, you know, the whole trolling and shit like that. But, you know, I have my comments set to, uh, they need to be approved before they can even be posted. So, like, you guys can enter a comment, but nobody will get it until I approve it. Which, I've already banned two people from my channel because I've told them, look, no being a dick on my channel. If you like my music, that's fine. Say that you like my music. If you're going to be a dick, you're going to be an asshole about it, you're going to get banned from my channel, and I'm publicly going to call you out as a hater. Which I've done already to one user. Uh, not saying any names, but I've done it to one user already on my Twitter. And I've literally screenshotted the, the, the comments. And I've just, you know, I've told the guy, you know, just don't do it anymore. And he did not heed my advice. Which really, you know, it's kind of sad when people don't take your advice when trying to help them out. But um, other than that, I actually got something from um, a friend of mine who has been helping me with my DJing and all that stuff, um, which I'll show you guys two things. One, I'm going to show you guys my mask, which I will put on my protective face mask for it because I don't want to short circuit uh, anything. It's, it's very sensitive to moisture and stuff like that. And the second thing is I also want to show you guys my DJ setup. Um, for when I'm on you now and working on the internet radio stations that I do, including on Second Life, which I do um, go on there from time to time. I go on to Second Life uh, on Dance Island and I DJ like tonight, for an example, every Wednesday from 9 p.m. Eastern Time to 11 p.m. Eastern Time. If you guys have Second Life, you guys can go to Dance Island. You have to be 18 or older. Uh, mainly because of the vocals and shit like that that come into the lyrics. Or you guys can go to my You Now, which is pretty much all ages. Um, you have to be 13 or older for that. Uh, that's uh, site rules. But um, you guys can go there or onto Second Life, and you guys can tune in. You guys can watch every day. 
Um, it's every Wednesday for Dance Island, every single day at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time till roughly between 6 to 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's when I end every day on younow.com. And then, you know, I just have times where I'm on YouNow where I'm just broadcasting because I'm either bored, um, relaxing, or I'm just playing my video games, having a good time. But more importantly, guys, as I stated before, you know, I got my face mask in the uh, in the mail from a friend of mine. Um, he does he makes these for a living. I love I love the design setup, and uh, I'll actually get it for you guys real quick. Now, just so you guys know, this uh, this mask when I got in the mail comes with two different things. One is a protective balaclava, as it's called in the military, but uh, we like to call it protective face mask. And we had to put that on. And on top of that, I'm going to have to have uh, the mask on, which I will show you guys both here in a minute. Now first, uh, when you guys get any of these types of masks, uh, like what I have, you need these on. And I'll show you guys exactly why. So I'll bring you over here. Um, you're going to hear a slight bit of a bang. But um, with these types of masks that I'm about to show you guys, you need to have these protective face masks on because the moisture coming from your mouth when you go to talk uh, can sometimes short circuit the LED uh, display board and all that stuff. So I'll actually show you guys what I use on stage every single day, um, both on you now and at the local clubs and scenes and everything else like that here in Massachusetts. And this is the reason why I'm going to shave my head, because it always catches on my hair. But, this is the balaclava, the uh, sec secure mask for the original mask. i to get this thing a little, a little bit tuned here. But once you have this on, right here, thank you PlayStation. Once you guys have this on right here, you're going to want to get this on. Now, you guys, um, on the back here, as you guys can see, are two packs. There's the microphones for each one, but this one controls the mouth, and this one controls the eyes. So, once you get that on, and you get that straightened, you can then put it on, which I'm just going to increase the sensitivity real quick. And this is pretty much what it looks like, except for I should have like music on and stuff like that, so that way you can just see the full function of things, which let me just grab my phone real quick. Just as an example, guys. Let's see songs. Let's 